Hey everybody, CFP Reviews here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Netflix series Hound. This is, of course, a repaint of the Siege Hound. It's just done in a, like a, uh, from the pictures I've seen, it just looks darker, maybe a little more worn out. You can see he's got like some scarring and stuff on the front end of his hood. And, like maybe this is just him after he's been in a couple battles or something. I don't know. But it's a pretty nice looking little Jeep mode. It, Rolls good. You can see the, the details on there. Nice silverish gray for the headlights. He's got little fog lights down there. Nice shiny silver for the wheels. You can kind of see a, like a, a seat in there, I guess is what that's supposed to be. No steering wheel. But it is nice looking, especially from, you know, like from this angle stuff. Uh, if you look underneath, it's kind of kind of bad but just like this it's pretty nice looking a solid looking little jeep mode uh, and of course his accessories he has uh, this little gun which ends up being like his little shoulder cannon and then he has the bigger rifle and in vehicle mode you can put those either there there uh, on either side here and then on both sides it has a spot here and here so you can just uh like have that where it's kind of a side mounted or not side mounted, but offset from the center. And then maybe have that one. If you put it the right way, it tabs better. Like that, kind of give him some firepower. Uh, you can also put this one right, oh, not that way, right here. Not sure why. I guess it could be like a giant exhaust pipe or a snorkeler, even though those are usually up front. But uh, yeah, overall, really nice uh, vehicle mode. And uh, for a comparison, here he is next to Sideswipe. They look uh, pretty good together. And then here he is, slash him to the side next to Prime. This is of course the Earthrise Prime. I don't have the Siege Prime, but uh, they look pretty good together. Now all that's left to do is get into transformation. Take his guns out. Uh, this guy's pretty pretty easy to transform. Uh, to start with, go ahead and pop this back piece. You kind of got to just get in there. Might help to go ahead. Yeah, go ahead and untab that. And then that lifts up. It doesn't really go anywhere right now. You just want to get it out of the way. Come over here and just untab these from the side oh wait untab the arms and lift the seats up now that's better and then you just want to fold this i don't know how well you can see that but you just want to fold that out so you're left with that so do the same on this side fold this up Untab it. Make sure the arm's unhooked. That tabs in really tightly. And then you just want to pull that down. Now you want to come to these and just rotate them up. And it locks into place. Uh, you can see there's a tab right there. And do that. Same on this side. Hole right there. Tab right there. Oop, didn't have it lined up there we go and now he has legs now you want to come to the arms and you can't really see that come to the arms swing them out and then just pull the head down that automatically brings it out fold this in lower that down gets rid of the kind of gives him a nice little backpack bring the arms in rotate arm in rotate they don't really tab into place they just kind of sit there see it just like friction this one holds pretty well you can move it this one on mine doesn't want to go all the way against so if you start moving it it comes out really easy but uh that, that, blah, blah, blah. there he is 
he is a really solid looking robot mode. So let's look at the articulation on this guy real quick. Then we'll go over a couple more of the details. Uh, the head is on a ball joint, but because of this back plate, it is kind of hard to move. You can do side to side pretty well, but he doesn't really have much up and down. The arms, full rotation, swing out pretty far, rotate above the elbow, and you can see there what I was talking about. Let's test that on this one. Ah, that did untab, so. I wish, I wish they would have found a way to get that to tab better. I think it probably would have been pretty easy to do. But uh, elbow, 90 degree bend, wrist rotate legs, pretty far forward, uh, pretty far back. Uh, nice elbow, uh, feet can kind of bend. Well, no, they can go all the way. It was just, it kind of stops right there and then you have to go further. A uh, little bit of toe movement, not much. Just due to, it's just mostly because of transformation. And you have waist swivel, so a pretty solid articulation. Uh, as far as the details on this guy, he looks, he's got a pretty nice paint job. I like how they got the stars on both sides. That looks pretty good. Most of what you see is details you already see in car mode, so there's not really anything new. But he's got a pretty nice... Let's see if I can get that to focus. Nice head sculpt. I like that. He's just a, overall, he's just a really, really solid figure. My, like I said, my only gripe is just this connection here. Now, his accessories, uh, you can put these in a couple different places. Uh, you can, of course, put that one in his hand. It's just a regular rifle. And then you can put this. On either side, you can put it here. And you see there's a, po a peg spot here and here. It is a little tricky. It's not, now it's not going to go. There it goes. It's like the peg is almost too big for the hole. But uh, you can put it there. You can put it there. Uh, you can put them on the sides. Uh, you can combine them together to make a longer rifle. I just, this is how I have him. And I think that's a... Uh, pretty solid look in my opinion now as far as comparisons here he is with side swipe Let's slide him over a little bit and uh they look they look pretty good together i think that scale works out pretty nicely and here he is with prime and well prime's a little tall they look uh they look pretty good together also. I think uh, these all scale together fairly well. Um, so far out of the ones I've gotten from the War for Cybertron series, because I'm not splitting them up, Siege, Earthrise, whatever. Uh, Optimus is still my favorite, but I think he's uh, he's second. He's uh, he's pretty good. Uh, he's pretty fun. Uh, nice transformation, and he just, he looks, he looks really good, so... Uh, not too much more to say about this guy. Uh, if you don't have the Siege version, I definitely recommend him. Or if you do have the Siege version and you just want a more worn down, uh, battle looking hound, like a battle worn hound, I recommend him. And so, uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video, guys. We will see you Friday for a Power Rangers review. And uh, until then, see you.